you're up to uh, no good, you'd better think twice. You interrupted me. I was just crouching. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the next chapter of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now we have arrived at Rate, at the mill, uh, because we tried to bury our parents and got our teeth kicked in. And now we're here. It is currently 4.04 a.m. on Sunday the 17th of March, 2024. Can't believe I took damage from that, but that's all right. I don't have boots again. Wait. It took everything off me. Okay. I have to eat something. Oh yeah, where's the food? My she said she had the food, right? Up with the hunger. Eat from pot. Mmm, delicious. Oh, here's some food. Give me some bread. 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 Bread again. Good. What's my nourishment at? 54. Seventy five is gonna have to be it, I guess. That's outside. I thought this was outside. Oh hey, hello. Thank you for saving me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. Calm down. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. I'm sorry. I'm talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? You need to settle down. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? What do you need, I guess? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Dude, you've been looting. Did you expect I'd give anyway. you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I mean, he looted like 40 corpses on the way to bury his parents, including his parents. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain... They hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I guess I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Well, watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. 
Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Farewell. Okay. You learned about the executioner. This is just about execution. Okay. Get a spade and get the dead man's ring. Right. Okay. Whoops. Broke my legs. Hey. Oop. Oh, God. DLC activated. Treasures of the past. A legend has been circling about the stashes containing magnificent warhorse armor. You can find more hints in your trunk. From the ashes, the long abandoned village of Pripyatskovitz awaits the return of bustling life. Wait for a suitable opportunity and go and see Sir Divish about it. A combat tournament. It's the tournament. A combat tournament will soon be convened in Rate. It's open to commoners, so even you can enroll if you'd like. The amorous adventures of Sir bold Sir Hans Kappen. The local dandy is fond of intrigues, especially when the fairer sex is involved, and it's only a matter of time before he drags you into one. Band of bastards. The province hasn't been made. The, pro the, uh, the province hasn't been safe since the raid on Scalots, and soon you can expect orders from Sir Radzig to ride out with a band of mercenaries to put things right. A woman's lot. You lost your home and family in Scalots, but you are not alone. Teresa and your hunker encountered similar misfortune and fled too. Each tries in her own way to come to terms with. With? There's no full stop at the end of that. If you want to know more, look at the DLC heading in the main menu, where you can find precise instructions for playing the DLC. Okay, thank you. If this was ancient Egypt or Greece, suddenly the goat wouldn't need a silver tongue to sell. Well, I mean, that's there's still it still was looked down on to an extent. It was very yummy, yes, thank you. It was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You should have like a bath or something. So what are we to do with you, Henry? Uh, what's with the dog? What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. How is he? How's he doing? A lot better now. Good. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. What's the miller think? What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. Yeah, he seems like a cunt. Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoilt then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands, but he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So, I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. Sure. Ah, uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him, then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Go and get him. I don't know where the fuck he is. I'm going to rename him Dogmeat. 
Is this for, for foreshadowing? Well, I'm assuming that it's like, because this thing is going to start a quest, and I'm pretty sure hers is like a standalone thing or whatever. Like it's its own thing. Um, I'll talk to her more in a bit. I'm just going to leave our conversation there. Well. I'm already like almost a third dead again just from walking around the mill. <gasps> Dog. Hello. Hey, Mutz. Remember me? From Skalix. Remember? You want to go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house on fire. Follow Buddy. Me. Whoa. Okay. From this moment on, you have a canine companion. He's your best friend who will who protect and help you. But you must take good care of him. You can talk to him and feed him, ideally with meat. Give him commands and reward him with praise. With the cursor, you can give him all sorts of commands using Y, e.g. heal. You also have the new skill of Houndmaster. It determines how well your dog is trained and what commands you've taught him. You gain experience by using the commands and other interactions with your four-legged friend. In the sidekicks tab, you can see the stats, most important of which is obedience. It tells you whether your dog obeys you or not. Its level will keep falling with every injury and also if you neglect your dog for a long time. If it falls too low, your dog will stop heeding some of your commands. If it falls to zero, your dog will run off and it will take some time before he comes back to you. During that time, you won't be able to give him commands. The higher his obedience, the better stats the dog has. He will defend himself and you better, cause greater damage to foes, and it will take longer before he decides to run off again. You can improve your dog's obedience mainly by feeding and praising him, but doing it several times in succession over a short period is less effective than feeding and praising him regularly. Right, okay. You don't remember having a dog with you, so yours must have died in the first fight. Never mind, it wasn't in the game at all. Fair enough. Heel. That's cool. Hey, buddy. That's good. You listened. There's the good doggy. Mm. He's like, that's my boy. Me? Look what I've got for you. You'll but love this. I don't have food for him. Yeah. <laughs> but the chest should be in here. Right. This is mine. Whoa. That's a bunch of maps. And a heap of other shit. Okay. Let's take all. Being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages, and a common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been able to... to be literate. To understand written text, you'll have to find someone who can teach you how to read. Right. That's a thing. Okay. So. Nope. Weapons. Which one deals the most damage that we can actually equip? Minimum agility. Three. Three. That's going to be the axe of the bludgeon because I can't use the other shit yet. Um, so I can put on Bianca's ring that's kind of nice shirt's all kind of fucked up Gloves. How do I sort it? Can I sort it by slot? Wait, what is the... A to Z, simple. Is that by armor rating or something? I don't know what it's sorting by. That's got to be armor rating. Ooh. Whoa. 
four horse gambeson. Sure, why not? Because that's the studio, yeah? Studio Warhorse. We'll take this off. Yeah, it's got the Warhorse logo on it. That's cool. Got these. Got some noble shoes. This is real fucked up. Um. Matched hose. Red scarf, sure. Alright, so everything I'm not wearing, I'm going to put away. Strong spirit that will burn away all physical and spiritual woes. Nourishment, health, energy. Okay. Uh, eat. Eat. Um, also eat. My energy's going down. Something that was bad, I think. I'll give the dog the salami, I think. Oh, the dried meat lasts a very long time. That's very good. So it's like jerky. Good shit. Okay. Um, I think I might put some of the saver snaps away. I know that's what you used to save, but there's not really a ton of point in me taking it with me everywhere. Uh... I don't think I can read it, can I? Oh, I can. Is that Necros? Rate's down that way. Okay. Alright, where's the chest? So let's put away... this shit. Keep. I'll keep one of the torches. I'll put away, I don't know. Four of the snaps. Hmm. Maybe I should sell this shit. I don't know, I'll leave it here for now. I can come back for it later. Here's one thing I do want to check though. Oh, his sense of smell and his obedience. Nice. Um. Uh, skillfully build, sophisticated weapons, etc. Archery will in, in turn will increase it. So I've got to do archery to level agility. I guess. I don't know. I'm outside. What's wrong with my foot? Are my feet all fucked up? What is that? What is that problem? What's wrong with my feet? Oh, I have injured legs. How do I heal my injuries? Because I fell off shit and broke my feet. I guess we'll just limp there. Hey, buddy. I have sausage for you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Hey, I leveled up. Oh, I chuck it on the ground for him. That's cool. What am I doing? What is my quest? Where am I going? 
Main quests. Vengeance. Get father's sword back. Find Mark Fart, which is the German dude, to avenge your parents, which I know nothing. Um, and then, oops. Uh, awakening. I woke up from bad dreams. There is, sir. The Scalitz Miller's daughter was sitting leaning over me. It turns out it was she, together with Sir Robard and his men, who saved my life. She then took me to Ratte, to Uncle Pesheck's mill. They looked after me the whole time I was delirious and feverish. Teresa also lost everything and is now living at her uncle's mill. I may stay there if I wish, but I have a debt to settle. My treatment is not without cost. Okay, so we're going to go visit Sir Radzig in the city. And the good thief is over that way. We should pay Milipashek the debt for the treatment, get the dead man's ring for Milipashek, and get a spade. There is a bee, apparently. This is the dead man's ring. This is Sir Radzig, a quest giver, an activity giver, a DLC quest. A different DLC quest, and also map. Well, we're really far south, are we? Another quest giver. Oh yeah, we're super far away. Interesting. So, can I just? I can. All right. And she's like, "No, I'm going back to Tamburg. See ya." All right. Well, I guess I'll just. Start walking this way. I don't have a horse anymore, which is annoying. Hey, I mean, how often do I have to talk to the dog and be like, good boy, and then feed him? Because if it's too often, that could get really annoying. Hello, townsman. You're not a villager. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, cool. That's how I greet people too. How's life here? What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. Okay, cool. And uh, how do you get on with the refugees? How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Don't even talk to me about it. Huh? I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. These are like my townsfolk, right? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. Mm-hmm. What kind of lo a lord is, uh... Han Hanush? Hanush? What kind of governor is Sir Hanish? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzig, so you don't see no one attacking us. I mean, they're moving south, so maybe you do. Anyway. May the Lord watch over you. I need to wash myself? What's up, bud? I need to wash myself in a trough? Need to, I think the city's up on top of the hill. What sort of place is this? Hello? Hi. Oh, it's a bath. Hello, townswoman. Hello, villager. Hello, locked chest. Hello, cooking pot. Mmm, delicious. That's lock pick. I have to talk to somebody to have a bath? Oh, I'm in a private area. Shit. Shut up, dog. You'll be right. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, can I bath here? I'd like to uh, order something here. So, what are you interested in? 
Um. Oh. Heal my wounds, bath, and laundry. A bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. But of course. Money first, though. No, no. No, you don't understand. I'm the protagonist. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Um, well, I have this much. So, less than that. How's this? Are we agreed? That's a poor offer. Yeah, I know, but that's how haggling works. I don't have that much, though. What if... I just don't. I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you... A haircut, maybe? Polish undercut? Oh no, we can't actually... I hate that. Uh, no deal. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine if that was like the way that it was at the fucking hairdressers? You go in there, you're like, oh yeah, I want this done. They're like, okay, and they do it. And you're sitting in front of the mirror and you like look at it after they're done, you're like, nah, take it back. <laughs> oh, no deal. Battlefield perm is just bald. Oh, no deal. Mama's boy. Oh, that's just his normal haircut. No, no deal. I like, like that. Thank you. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Uh huh. No, that's too much. It's not as you wish. You're expensive. Good luck then. This is just as good. Oh, that's cool. He drinks water and everything as well. Hello, Chooks. How you doing? Is this how I get up to town, or am I am I like walking away from town? I feel like I'm probably walking away from town. Oh no, he's up this way. It just feels really far away. I know this is like, it seems quite unrelated, but this makes me want to f play Red Dead again. That's another game I need to play through. Because I've played fuck all of the story of Red Dead 2. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's a very pretty game. Fast travel. On the map you'll see all the places you can fast travel to. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Hey, fella. Halt. Who are you and where are you going? Yes. I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. Rude. What do you want from his lordship? What makes you think he'll see you? Tell him who the fuck I am. Um. Yeah, I gotta tell him about this, about what happened to his sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty, and mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Hell yeah. Hello. God be with you. Do you need anything? Nah. Good luck, then. So this is Rate, hey? What's my food level at? 96. Nah, I'm good for food. Maybe, actually, hold on. Nope. Um. Like, if I take off the jerkin, because the jerkin's pretty fucked. Yeah, my charisma goes down if I'm wearing the jerkin. Uh, what about the quaff? 
Nah, the quaff doesn't do anything. But I'm not really too fast on wearing it right now anyway. The hose? No pants. But my charisma goes up. Interestingly. Um, yeah, the Gamson is good. Gotta be wearing shoes. I'll keep that on. Oh, really? They don't like my scarf? I like my scarf. All right, then. I'll take the scarf off. You made it almost five hours and still charging? Yes, yes. I was going to start a lot earlier today, but I uh, I got very sidetracked. But how you doing, Robert? Welcome, welcome. Glad you made it. Are we going Stealth Archer? Maybe? Once I can figure out... How to get a bow? It's not that bad. Hello. Not that bad. I woke up with a rat in my blanket. Lucky a you. Rat. Don't tell everyone. They'll all want one. Hal! What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? Is this his mate? I wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. So do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. Oh my god, I can't believe you survived. How did you do it? Oh, we just left when it was dark. Oh, cool. That's amazing. Bye. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. Having trouble with the wife? Trouble at home. You overheard us, did you? Yeah. She's a good woman. Normally we don't quarrel, but things have been hard on us these days. Could I help? And is there some way I could help you? People here know me. I've helped a few of them. No, Are you all right? no, they don't. Folk have been talking about you. No, they haven't. All right, I'll tell you. When I was running from Skullets, I left some valuables hidden under a dovecote in front of our house. You know where we lived, right? No, I do, but under a dovecote. You see, you wouldn't have thought of it either. In any case, the coin would really come in handy right now, but I'm afraid to go back there alone. Do you think you could? Sure. Why not? Of course. I'll try to bring it back for you. Thank you so much, Henry. May the Lord watch over you. How's life in Ratte? How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? This fucking war. I don't know, just make shit. It's out of farm. I don't know. What happened in Scalitz? Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. Okay, cool. Farewell. I'm pretty sure he was your mate. Isn't he your mate that, like, threw the dung at the house? Is he that guy? I don't know. He's wearing red. Hello, vagabond. Good day to you. What do you need? Just saying good day. What are you hanging around for? What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. Damn. <laughs> Just straight up. Like, he could have been anybody. He's like, I have no time for scum like you. What? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. That's fair. So you're a pickpocket? 
All right, get to the point, but keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? Sure, why not? All right, I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. May the Lord watch over you. Right. Pickpocketing. I see. Hello, dog. There's the good doggy. <laughs> He's right behind me. He's a pickpocket. That's my boy. Don't let him stand behind you like that. We got a new rank in dog guy. It's not there. Skills? Hound master. Good hound master understands dogs. The better you get at commands, the more likely you'll be able to teach your four-legged friend, the better stats you'll have. Oh, there's perk points for this too. That's cool. Interesting. Oh, I didn't realize these were all skills. Ah, oh, shit. So you got your stats, but then you've got like other skills too. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh. Interesting. So I've got main level perks, because I'm ranked 4 now, so I can do the next rank of shit. What level have I got to be for these? 6. Renegade brand. Penalties on stats following release from jail are 20% lower. Be awake. Better. Okay. Um, one strength, one speech. No combat points. No other stat points. I have good standing in scallops. Rovna is nothing, because Rovna's fucked. Thunberg's pretty standard. Scallops is alright. Okay. So let's head. I suppose because it's raining, he's like, I don't want to stay outside. Who are you? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's my dog. That's my dog. Wait, <laughs> nope, not that one. I can't zoom in any further. Activity giver. Oh, that's where Saradzig is. What's this one then? Oh, still Groshen. Uh, let's go see this activity giver first. Is it you? Are you the activity giver? No, she's not. She looks kind of like, come and talk to me though, doesn't she? Oh, she's a traitor. There you Greetings. go. Hello. What do you need? She doesn't want to trade with me Take though, care. that's interesting. Alright. I'll just go fuck myself, don't worry about it. You discovered traitor. Lies. Wait, no, there's a traitor here. What are you? Hey, Steven. Good day to you. You don't have Probably. anything new to say? Wow, no, is that how this works in this game? Like the great entries, are they... Find out what actually they say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. Okay, well that's not new then. I guess it is that. Are you the traitor? Cornelius? Good health to you. How does life in Ratai suit you? 
It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. You have to speak there quiet? Bailiff is always on our backs. Bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. What happened to Scallops? Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it, same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Probably. Bye. You're a shop. God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. What's he got? Um. Where do I see how much money I have? Oh, 24.6. Okay, good. All the money then, I guess. I can sell treasure maps, which I do not want to do. Okay, so he's got a bunch of arrows. Torches, wounding arrows. Ooh, nice jackets. Cheap wine and a three-legged goat. How much is save your snaps? Jesus! 134 gold to save the game. Hercules and his diet. A school book on strength. Can I be read after achieving level 5? Interesting. Okay. Thanks, bud. Just gonna go. Make my way through town. Forever, amen. My back's killing me. Where are you, activity giver? This dude in the red? Where are you? Good day to you. Hello. Um, how's the lord here? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Okay. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? That's what I said. Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with them? <gasps> not the plague. Have you heard anything about the gingers? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. A soldier was saying in the alehouse, them barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women. They hold nothing sacred, the filthy heathens. Cool, alright. Um, what's this about you fighting for coin? Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver, got it? Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Do I? What are the rules? Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? <laughs> the dude in the background. What's the dude in the background doing? What the fuck? Yeah. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. <laughs> Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Having fun over there, bud. Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you... You've got coin. I'm out of here, bud. I need well. to. I need to see what the fuck. Ah, you okay? Ringlet. God be with you. <laughs> he's getting his cardio in. Yes, he's very special. Yes. Um, how's life in Rate? How does life in Rate suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. 
Nobody gives a damn about us. Hmm. What happened in Scarlet's? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and yes. how the Radzik sides with the king. Yes, that too. Can you go to brawl with Milan? Aren't you ring or Milan? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. Rude. I want nothing from you. Good luck to you. Honest question, is this an actual good game or like a beloved scuff game? I am not 100% certain yet. It really depends on who you talk to, but it is pretty good so far. Like, there are bugs like that in it, but I mean, it's that just happens in all the best games as far as I'm concerned. It looks uncanny. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. That's all right. Uh, oh, the green A is to go back to Scallets. I don't want to go back to Scallets. Um, let's run over and talk to the guard. Maybe it'll teach us how to pickpocket. I think the graphics seem amazing, but also a tad weird, and I can't put my finger on why. Ah, uh, well, it's an indie game. The starters. It's like it was a kickstarted game. So it's, it's a very sort of small team, very like, hey, we want to make a cool game, let us make it sort of thing. Um, like the NPCs are obviously a little bit how you going, but that is what it is. Is that some new kind of game? Yeah, but it's a new kind of game. So what, do I knock him out? Like, how does this... I feel like someone else is going to see me. Hold on. Wait, can I just save? Give me a second. This will cost one of your savior snaps. That's all right. Hey, still. Oh, that dude saw me. Do something. I'm sorry. My God, over there. Um, drop the body. Drop him. Drop him. He's asleep. It's all right. It's fine. Um. Uh, give me this. Oh, well, uh, this is bad. Hey, you don't uh, move a muscle. You don't know where I Surrender. am. Okay, hold on. That was a bit, that was a bit stupid. Did you just loot all? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I'm not uh, particularly knowledgeable on what, which buttons are which. Wait, there's more NPCs here now? Alcohol begins to act gradually, giving you bonuses on speech, vitality, charisma, and strength. Although, if you overindulge, the after effects can be less than pleasant. Oh, because saving makes you drunk. That's right. Okay, well, we'll knock out the guard another time. How am I feeling, by the way? Better. Better. Um, I ate something that did not agree with me. Um, so I had a bit of an upset stomach and stuff. Thank you for the good stuff. Hopefully the good stuff is tea with honey. Yeah, saving makes you drunk. Yes, because it's, it's drinking a bottle of schnapps. Hello, dog. Good boy. That's my boy. Or peppermint if your tummy's weird. Yeah, it's been it's been um it's been not great. It's it was better today. There were still moments where I was like, I'm gonna be sick. Hey, it's you again. God be with you. Sure. May the Lord watch over you. Alright, well, I can't do anything with the guard except knock him the fuck out, because I don't know how to pickpocket. You should stop eating people over disagreements. It's just it's the way that I deal with my problems. I eat people.
another trader. Well, I do have some shit to sell. But it's back at home. Try them. This looks cool. Oh, there's a weaponsmith in here. That's nice. Oh, so this is like your town square with all your shops. Very cool. Knock, knock. Oh, this place is fancy. Hi. Greetings. What do you need? Shop. Nope. Okay, so she's got a whole bunch of armor. Black and yellow hood actually reduces my charisma, interestingly enough. And yet this black and yellow hood puts my charisma up, because it's a good one. That hat does too. All this stuff is very expensive. 1.6 thousand for a jacket. Okay. Ooh, I could wear a dressing gown. Wouldn't mind a good dressing gown. Huh? Oh, a lady's dress. Why? I suppose that's because this is what the shop would sell, wouldn't it? Interesting. Man, there's a lot of shit in here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I like it. Charisma 9, Pog. Yeah. Yeah, when you very first start the game, you have a conversation with your mom, and it's the closest that you get to, like, a, um, like, picking classes or anything. You just tell her what you were doing the night before, and depending on the options that you choose, it gives you, um, different stat bonuses from, the, like, the start. Day to you. Although, I did manage to die in a cutscene in the prologue. Like, before I'd even done anything in the tutorial. It was great. Farewell. Can you repair my shit? Yes, you can. But it's expensive. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. That's a 61%. That's pretty cheap. Um, so that's Charisma 0. That's Charisma 7. So why does that bring my Charisma down when I wear it? <laughs> I don't think I understand. Because it's ugly? Aww. Yeah, it's probably it, actually. They tried to be super realistic with this. Tried to do it as much as possible. Lock picking. Uh, I don't know how to pick locks yet. What if you tell your mom you just murder people? Yeah. How did I come back? I reloaded and didn't punch the guard in the face at the start. Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. It's not the right season, yeah. That is a perfectly acceptable reason, I suppose. This is the weaponsmith. Bread. Bread. Like what else is there? What are these signs? I don't want bread. Shush. What's this sign? Jesus. That's the tailor, I guess. What's this one? Oh, Apothecary. Hello? Hi. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. Have we met? Oh! I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I owe him money. Um, some people can teach you the lessons you, you'll have to know something already though. There might be more than one trainer for each school, but there's always four lessons. Right. Can you teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. <laughs> what a name. Yeah, so that's another thing, Robert. The character, this character, Henry, doesn't know how to read. So you can't read like skill books and stuff at the start. You have to actually go... And find somebody that will teach you how to read. And by the looks of this, it's a quest. 
Uh, about the debt that I owe you. About that debt? Yeah. I won't pay anything! It'll take, take a me bit. a while longer. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll honour your debt. I plan to. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. Slightly advanced requires level five. Interesting. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Probably a fair bit too. Eh, maybe another time. Maybe another time. Hello, shop guard. Man, there's so many potions on your shelf that I would like to just have. Ah, wouldn't that be good? They just stole everything. What's this place? The furniture store? What's this? Oh, butcher. I see, I see. Hello. God be with you. What yeah, can right. I do for you? Um. What happened in Scallops? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of her silver and how Sir Radzik sides with a king. Yep, that's what everyone keeps saying. I'm out of here. I need to go talk to Sir Radzig. Who are these guys? When all of a sudden I see this purse right there on the ground. No. Was there much in it? Half a dozen groschen and change. Oh, Christ. That was worth bending down for, eh? Hey? Indeed. I couldn't believe it. But before I picked it up, I reckon someone must be playing a trick on me. And they were hiding in the bushes just to have a laugh. But not a soul anywhere. That's a piece of good fortune then. We ought to celebrate. By all means. The best of it is, that pair of idiots, Prokop and Ondra, were walking right ahead of me and they never even noticed the purse. And it was lying there right in the middle of the road. You're a lucky man. This time. But it all evens out in the end anyway. Aye, true enough. God's millstones will grind you down eventually. You have a name. Good health to you. Um, nope. the Lord watch over you. pretty sure I'm still in like a linear section even though it took us three and a half hours to get the like opening credits to roll but you know me I did fuck around a little bit good day fellas That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. Nope, Henry. What are you Close. doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, I was attacked by bandits in Scallets. Bandits attacked me in Scallets. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scallets? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life appear for on the yours, stairs? Hal, so you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I'm going to see Sir Radzik. I'm going to speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. Cheers, no. man. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Get out of the way, please. 
I'm just gonna run around the palace. Oh. Man, this doesn't seem particularly private. Just like, yep. No one walk past. He's upstairs. I assume, unless this is just defensive. So Jack, can you explain why you didn't stream for so long? Uh, yes. So, I had, basically, I had... Oop. This is a cutscene. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Mm. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial Crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame what? him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. A little bit. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. Yep. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. Where are they from, though? That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm yeah. sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. Shut up. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. Wait, are you my dad? They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Cheers, Be man. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. 
and one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because good point. it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. Well... I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. I'll kill you. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service. So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. Hey. Might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And <laughs> don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. I like that. I like that whole... That was really well done. That was... That was very cool. That was very cool. You've joined Sir Radzig's garrison. Tournament takes place in a week. Okay. Cool. So Hanush, go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. I'm learning so many things. Are you Bernard? No, you're just a town's dude. Um, care to explain why you didn't stream for so long? Yes, so... After the birthday stream, I then had four days of work. During that four days of work, I had family basically say, Hey, we're coming to your town for a trip. Can we stay with you for a couple of days? And I was like, yeah, sweet. All good. And then they were here for a couple of days after my after I started my days off. And then after they left, there was the heat wave for three days, which it was like almost 40 degrees here for three days in a row. Which we live in a kiln. Uh, so... All the bricks held the heat, so it was very fucking hot for like four or five days. And then I was back at work again for a few days. And then once I got off work, um, which was a couple of days ago, um, it was more just I had a lot of things that I needed to sort of catch up on because I lost a week. So here I am. But now I've got a week off, so I should be streaming a fair bit. But I am on day shift, so it's not all going to be necessarily this late at night. 
You like the scent of Fat Man, the Priest, and Prince? The Priest and the Prince can suck a fat one? Yes. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? My respects to you. Can I ask you something? Can I ask? Oh. Uh, is Sir Hanush a good liege lord? What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. Fair enough. What do you think of Sir Radzig? What do you think of Sir Radzig? That's what I said. I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. Okay. And his people? What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. Rude. And uh, the young Hans Capon? What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? I didn't ask that. came, and then you folk. It was a fine, peaceful life here. Perkstein is a fine castle. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. Rude. Fine, you got some excuses. I'll accept them. But that's all I've got. I mean, you can choose not to accept them if you prefer, but I'm just I'm just here, man. I'm just saying the facts. By the way, you probably missed it, but how long are you going to stream? I've got some chores to do and seeing when I'll do so. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty awake. I can't really put a number on it, though. I might hit a wall at some point soon and just go, eh, hey, bedtime. But I am feeling pretty awake. Could be for another hour. Could be for another three. I'm not really sure. Uh, what's with the, the soldiers, the gingers? Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismunds are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Right. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. What's the basic training? I'm here for training. Hmm. There's nothing I can do for you here. Come on, I'm at the combat arena. Very well, sir. Okay. Good luck to you. So I got a whole bunch of quests there. Uh, let's have a quick look. Where are we? Quest log. Train hard, fight easy. Train with Bernard at the training ground. Vengeance, get the sword back. Find old mate, which it's not on the map. Scavenger. Find the treasure under the dovecoat. Learn how to read. Which is way up here. Good thief. Pay me to check the debt for the treatment. Oh, he's in town at the moment? Interesting. Do me a favor, punch me. Why is it like beat him, but also beat up the other two? I don't understand. Rob the rich, give to the poor, steal 50 groceries from Bad Zero. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Usually there mid morning until evening. Okay. All right. See you in a little bit then. Too easy, Robert. See you soon. Okay, so what I might do... Yeah, I've got the, the bed at the bottom of the screen. Actually, can I just sleep in town? Is that bad? 
Because there's like beds here. Like camp. Like bed. Ooh, there's people in them. Apparently I can. I'll sleep in the rain until morning. No, I won't. Apparently. Get up! What are you doing lying here? Get I'm sorry. The hell out! I'm sorry. Fuck. Is that a problem? Am I not allowed to sleep here? Everyone else is sleeping here. Yeah, he's gone. All right, good. Now I'll go back to sleep again. I don't think it's going to work. He's going to patrol. He's going to walk around, do his lap, and then, yeah. Hello? Who the fuck even woke me up? How dare you guys? Alright, fine. Can I even... Actually, hold on. Can I... F mm -mm. Nope. Can I... Fast travel back to the mill? I can. Fast travel to the mill, please. Okay. I come home, go sleep. Hello, Teresa. Hello, millman. Let's actually leave. Go away. Let's leave the, uh, the shard here, I guess. Um, and we will sleep. Nourishment's gonna be a bit shit. That's right, let's have a sleep in. It'll be fine. We can head into town, sell some stuff, train with old mate, which we need to do next. Our comfort is climbing. Climbing? That's not a word. Game has been saved. Breakfast? No breakfast. I drop stuff into the pot. Oh. Um. I don't think I've got any food, do I? Nope. That's gonna be a problem. Excuse me, dog. Uh, okay. Any food out here, maybe? No. Right, so we're gonna go into town and find some food. Okay. Sell some bits and pieces. Find some delicious noms. That is the plan for today. Sell my shit. Find delicious noms. Go and train with old mate. Nope. This one. What's that? Can't zoom in any further. Oh, that's me. 
That's my dude. Okay. We'll head to Rate Lower Gate. No, I didn't discover Rate. I've been here already. Or Ratai? Is that the way they keep pronouncing it? Ratai? Whatever. This is food, right? Yeah, give me this. Thanks, refugees. You champs. Oh, my nourishment went up like by a heap, that too. Hell yeah. Now if we can find a trader that will take my shit. I don't know, because like, Argh! ow! Oh, I just tried to move in the chair and... Oh, that hurt. Anyway. If I can find a trader that will buy all my shit, that would be wonderful. Hello. Good day to you. How you doing? May the Lord watch over you. No, no. Nope, that's not what I wanted either. Bye again. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, so I've got the axe. I'm going to sell the bludgeon. And this thing, the say, which is like a machete. And one of my torches. That's all I can sell to him. He sells stuff too. But I don't want to buy anything in particular. Probably can't use most of it anyway. Hmm. He's got some cool stuff. He's got a sword called Needle. I like that. A piercer. Interesting. A pricker. Hmm. Okay. The basket. He wants to give me fucking piss all for it, but that's alright. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. We'll be a tournament rate all tomorrow. Right, so. I thought you said a week from now. Um I want at least twelve for it. What about this? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Sure. Well, that's a decent price. Thank you. Now... Oh, they haven't, like, turned up to put all their stuff out. That's pretty cool. Huh? Oh no, you've just got that stuff. Uh... This is just a tailor, and then the alchemist, and then the butcher. Is there an armorer here? I can't really zoom too well. Oh, this is the cool card version. I didn't think that I could see this. Quest tipster? Unexplored place. Bernard. Okay. Well, there's so many unexplored places over there. Yeah, there is an armor in here. Oh, I have armor to sell. Uh, Tama? Yeah, that's Tama. Oh, lockpick. Oh no, just be open. Eh? Oh, that fucking late, early in the morning, is it? Tick, 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 tick. Maybe it's eight o'clock that they open. Loading, loading, loading. Cucumbers, onions, come drink. get them. Can I, can I, can I be in your shop, please? Hello? You guys are just chilling in there. Just let me in. Flour, egg, oh. Salt, yeast. Let it bake a bit. You'll be able to feed a whole family with fresh. Can I go to the tails? No. Nope. 
Where is the sword dude open? I have shit to sell. Man cannot live by bread alone, but he can't live without you, it you're a baker. Fresh fruit and veg. Aw, oh, man. But I want to sell my shit. She's so loud. Fine. I'll wait until after nine then. It's interesting that if you wait for 12 hours or if you wait for one, it takes just as much time for it to pass. There we go. Nine o'clock they open then. Hello. God be with you. Sure. God be with you. Okay. Let's sell. Some of this garbage. Wait, which one of these do I want to get rid of? This one. And these. I like my scarf. I want to keep my scarf. I'm a green shirt too. Keep the quaff and the pants. He sells so many things. Oh, he's got cool shields. Like, okay shields? Very good shields. Haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Alright, he wants to give me 22. I'm going to ask him for 26. What about this? That's still too much. That's okay. That's okay. How much is that going to fill up? Most of the way. Uh, Alright, 23 is fine. That's fine. Very well. I agree. I just want a little bit more. Just a little bit more counts as a win as far as I'm concerned. You'll find it nowhere else. Okay. What else have I got on me? Not much. A couple of random ingredients, and that's about it. Do you have perks now, though? Right. Two perk points for that. I'm rank 5 in speech. That's got to be worth something, right? I gotta be rank eight. I see. No perk points, no perk points. That's right. Maybe the the whole haggling thing I need to um get that perk so that I could be like, no, this much. No, this much. And then they'll be like, oh, I fucking hate you, hey. And you're like, yeah, alright then. You're like, I'll do it your way. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Welcome back, Robert. The good stuff? Oh, you spoil me. So the stars are quest tipsters, not quest givers. I'm going to go across this road. There's someone in the tavern, I guess. Hello. Oh, you're a wizard. You're not even inside. Hey, innkeeper, how you doing? I'll be with you. 
Sure. Anyone need help? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, there could be something for you. Berthold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Okay. And that's not all. No? Sir Anish is convening the Ratoi tourney again at the Upper Castle. It's always a great occasion with jewels all day long. You can still enroll tomorrow, if you think you're good enough. Anybody else? You know if there's anyone around here who... Mm. No one I can take off. Okay. What do you sell? Food and shit, yeah? Yeah. Nothing that's worth buying for me. Science is gold and another bit. Other myths. A skill book on speech. See, I can't read yet. Because I can't read, skill books can't be used. I feel like reading is a real priority for me. Wait, which way am I going? I'm so lost. I'm gonna go that way, because there's a quest giver. Discovered the Huntsman. Excuse me. Hello. Good health to you, sir. Any work going on, Randy? Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? Eh? I said, how's your hearing? <laughs> it's He's funny. fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going. But I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. I've never been here before. I ought to be able to handle that. Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're mm. good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Nightingale in a golden cage. You mean you need me to find them? Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. <sighs> right, a bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. No. It went something like this. What? People keep birds like that in their houses. It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? No. Yes, I'll remember. Right, here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. You ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. I will never remember to do that. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. How much does he want? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Nah. Maybe another t I'm Good fucking luck. out of here. You're expensive. Nope. Other one. There's all these question marks. And there's these question marks. We're going to tag a bunch of question marks on our way to train with the dude. Hello, dog. You discovered church. You discovered blacksmith. Hello. Good day to you. Hello. Oh, he just sells like plain shit, I guess. Weapons, armor. Argyle sharp as a knife. Instructive book on maintenance. Interesting. 
And a spade. He sells a spade. That's good. I need a spade. Going bassinet. Kettle hat. Hmm. I've got some of them. Weapons, just buying shit. Almond shields. Picking the color, I guess. Cooper's axe. A cooper is somebody that makes barrels. Did you know that? Did you know? You learned something today. Probably. Hopefully. Okay, he's just got a lot of shit. I mean, he's got some good stuff, but it's all like tools and whatnot. Archery range? Where? Get out of the way. Where is the archery range? I need to wash myself. Archery! Can I use this? What does this do? Honing. If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit and hone it yourself on a grindstone, which you can find at every smithy. Approach the grindstone, start the process with A, and select from the list which weapon you want to hone. The weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. Select which part using right stick. The blade must be held at the correct angle to the grindstone. If the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharp, and if too steep, you can dull the blade. Control the angle with right stick again. Keep the grindstone turning using left trigger. You must also exert the correct pressure to make sure you hone the edge at all. Pressing also depletes your stamina. To press, use right trigger. You can recognize correct honing by flying sparks, whereas black smoke coming from under the blade tells you you're damaging it. A well-honed blade is smooth and shiny. Interesting. Right, well this blade's fucked. Oh, I have to keep tapping it? Oh, alright, this is interesting. Okay, um... Let's... Put some pressure on it. Sparks are good, right? Is that bad? I don't know, maybe I gotta do it from lower? Oh, this this box. This shallow's not doing anything. There's some good sparks. I'm damaging the blade. Oh, look at it. Look at it polishing up. Is that... Is that good? Looks good. It's probably still got a way to go, though. Like, it doesn't look smooth, but it might just be because it's a shit fucking axe. What's it? What is it at? Condition, 100%. Hell yeah. Fuck you guys, I'm the best. I don't know, can I make stuff in this game? I don't know if you can... I mean, I'm a blacksmith's son, right? So if I have a forge, can I make shit? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, hey, it's you. I do like that the NPCs, like, have a day. And they go out and do shit. It really is very much, as as some people have said, it's very much, uh, you know, like Oblivion in a lot of ways. As a compliment, it's a good thing. Is this little castle and there's a bridge out? Oh, this is the tournament square, I guess. Yeah, it's the combat arena. I want to go the other way. It's a cool little moat. I want to go the other way. Because there is a, oh, I don't even know. I don't. I don't want to jump over this if it's fucking. If I will fall down and die, which it looks like I will. 
Can't fall far. I discovered a nest. I did this again. Discovered another nest. Where is this nest you speak of? Oh, my dog can swim through cement. Nest? Come on. Are you a nest? I don't understand. Yes, I discovered it. Rhinestone. Mutt. Huntsman. Blacksmith. I don't know. The archery range is over that way. Might be able to find a bow there that I can nick. Not against Steven a cheeky bow. Is it in there? No, wrong button again. Uh, that's the tavern. So, oh yeah, there's the nest. I put a marker. Right there. Do I get eggs? Oh, you're right, dog. Thought about feeding my character. Oh. It's on my radar. It was on my radar. This is just here somewhere. Over this way a little bit. Oh, am I standing on it? Look out, dog. You're kind of in the way, bud. Oh, this is the nest. Examine. No? Examine. Uh, Alright. A nest with one money in it. That's good. I don't understand. Okay. This feels like a very down-to-earth medieval game. It pretty much is. Like, it is a medieval RPG. Like, it's not fantasy. There's not, like, you know, dragons and fireballs and stuff. Every time I open the, the redeem menu, it mocks me. Watch Streak 2. Oh. That's a shame. What is that building, then? Undiscovered, but what is it? Oh, a cobbler. Really? A cobbler? But I went all that time without shoes. Hello, old Rutch. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. Why am I talking to you? Go away. God be with you. All right then. Farewell. Ah, he does sell boots. There's all different boots. Fascinating. Get out of the way, dogs. Any more question marks on the way out? No. You discovered a fast travel point. Yes. Yes, I did. There's a train all the way out here. I was like, dude. Doesn't need to be scenic. We could have trained in town. How big's the map? So, this place is Rate, right? So that's the town. And then there's like the surrounding woods and whatever. Um,. Like, it's pretty big.
considering this is the massive city that I've been walking around in. Jesus Christ be praised. Sure. Train me. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yeah, man. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start oh, with something fucking simple. Fucking blacksmith's son. Whatever. Let's start with the basics. Very well. Come Old Maiden Town did teach closer. me, but anyway. I don't want to be repeating myself. Farewell. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Yeah, we're locked on. I know that. Yep. I understand. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Good. Maybe it's because it's like... Oh, you haven't done the training in forever. That's it. Nice. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Then it'll be like, stab three times. Nice. Good. Not bad. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Mm -hmm. All right. Not bad. Very good. Oh, I actually got a hit on him. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Okay. Oh, that'll be to block. You'll automatically parry your opponent's strike that costs of stamina when you don't have enough. You okay. Not bad. <clears throat> ah, that's it. <clears throat> ah. Good. All right. Ow. Very well then. Okay. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ah! Hit me in the face, why don't you? Good strike. Ah. Oh, he's beating the piss out of me. Stop it. See, I lure ah. you, then attack unexpectedly. Stop it. You're like master swordsman and you'd like I'll train you here. Five. Have a go at me. That's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block. Mm. Ah, that's it. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Ah. All right. Ah. All right. Ah. Not bad. Ah. 
Right. Lesson two. Everything okay. you've learned about blocking is wrong. You told when me I blocking. Cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Aja. <sighs> okay, so you counter. <sighs> All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Perform a perfect block. Fully deflect it. You can time your block into it. Press LB as soon as the strike starts to perform a perfect block. It doesn't cost any stamina and gives you a chance to follow up with a quick counter strike. Okay. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to oh. move along with the attack. Again. Okay. <sighs> Too soon again. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. <sighs> Good. <sighs> nice. Okay. Too soon. Ah. Uh. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Okay. No, not like that. What am I doing wrong? Oh, he gets like a little shield Good. thing in the middle. Right. Wait for the green. Very good. Interesting. Right. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Good. Okay. Good. I hope that all my enemies are going to do slow motion like this. That'd be uh, very helpful of them. I love that it's like, well block now. Ah, uh, that's it. We going again? Good, good. No. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Okay. Ah. 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 No, we're training. Go away. Wait a while, Henry. <sighs> okay. What do you want? Oh, it's you again. Good greeting, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Kill you. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside. Okay. Attack, and I'll show you. Mm, Hacha. <gasps> He's a ninja. Let's go. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. Right. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. Okay. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Okay. No! Wait. Wrong, damn it! 
What's the button? Hold on. Oh. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, that's it. Pasha. Very good. All right. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Okay. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Okay. You see a strike before it's even properly started. Okay. Nice. <sighs> Too early. Oh, I'm pretty sure I tried to dodge that, but anyway. Asha. Very good. Good. Hmm. You have to dodge the right way, I suppose. And the last thing for today, a trick. You a raise trick? the sword to force your opponent to block. A but kick then, clip. Change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Uh. Mm. Interesting. Well done. Wrong. No, again. Ah, that's it. Not bad. Good. Well, now. That wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. Nice. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Okay. Don't leave yet. Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. VOD viewers, that's the end of this one. In the next one, archery. And hopefully he won't just beat the shit out of us with a stick. But you never know. But uh, if you're watching this tomorrow, 10 years from now, long after I'm gone, you're awesome. And I am sure that you will hear from me again. I'll catch you next time.